This video is meant to show you some of the effect tools in the Lightorama Sequence Editor. Effect tools are tools that you can use to actually make your lights uh, turn on, turn off, fade up, fade down, that sort of thing. Uh, there are many different effect tools, and you'll see them here in this toolbar. Uh, we're only going to co cover a few of them in this video, the very basic ones, and additionally this video will show you uh, how to use effect tools in general. So the first one that we'll, we will use is the on tool, which is this one right here, the green button, the green square. If we click on that and then click on a cell, that cell becomes on. And what that means is that if we play the sequence, then at, at this point in the sequence, this channel will turn on. In other words, the lights that you have hooked up to that channel will turn on. And when it gets to this point in the sequence, it will turn off. And this particular cell is a half a second long. That's because I'm using a timing grid that is that has half a second between each timing. I could have used a different timing grid and um, let's say a tenth of a second and if I clicked on a single cell then it would turn on for a tenth of a second rather than a half of a second. But in this case it'll be on for a half a second. So let's play the sequence and watch what happens with the channel buttons as play progresses. The channel buttons will give you some idea of how your lights will behave after you actually hook them up to your controllers. So play it and watch the channel buttons. So when it got to here, this channel button lit up. And when it got to here, it unlit up. <laughs> and that's what the on tool does. Now, what I did was I clicked on a single cell and that applied the on tool to that single cell. I can also apply it to multiple cells by clicking and dragging. So now when it gets to here in the sequence, it'll turn on and it'll stay on for a while until it gets to this point. So let's play the sequence and watch the channel button. So uh, there's another way to click and drag, which is you can click and drag vertically. And what that would mean is that you're turning on several channels at this point in time. So now these bottom five channels here will all turn on fairly quickly after the sequence starts, then turn off again. And then afterwards, this one will turn on, off, and then on for a while. So let's watch all of these channel buttons. So there you are. And now you can put the two together by clicking and dragging both vertically and horizontally. So now all three of these channels here will be on for this entire time range. Let's play and watch the channel buttons. Oops. <laughs> now uh, let's try the off tool, which is the complement of the on tool. The off tool is this red square here. If I click and drag on these cells, they turn off. If I click and drag on these cells, they turn off. So now let's try uh, to play and again watch the channel buttons. Now the final tool that we're going to cover in this basic uh, usage is the select tool. The select tool is kind of special. It doesn't make your channels turn on and off. Instead, what it does is it just selects an area in the grid without making any changes to it. So for example, I can select this area, I can select that area, I can select this area, and I can select that area, whatever area I want to select. That might not seem very useful at uh, first blush, but you it, but it is, in fact, useful. For example, I can select these uh, nine cells here without making any changes to them. And then I can right-click and copy. And if I go over here in the sequence and paste, it pastes those nine cells just as they were from where I copied them. And the select tool is what enabled me to do that because it let me select an area 
without changing it, and therefore I could copy it, and therefore I could also move over here without changing this cell and pasting it. So that's about it for the very basic tools, effect tools of the sequence editor, the on tool, off tool, and the select tool. In future videos, we'll cover some of the other tools, which will allow you to do other lighting effects, and they'll also allow you to more easily make the same lighting effects. Um, so I guess that's it for this video. I hope this helps.